Hello, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Appalachian Trail Talk. This is a day, let's see, leg number 27 for me, day 45 through 51 of my Appalachian Trail flip-flop attempt. Uh, this uh, starts on about the 15th of May, 2017, just to give you an idea. Now, from, uh, from Delaware Water Glap to Vernon, New Jersey, at 63.3 miles, so that's a nice leg for resupply. But because I was having some issues with my leg still and, and fearing I'd probably need to do a little bit uh, slower miles, I decided to break at least the resupply up in, 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 in the middle. Not quite the middle, but I ended up going, I, I just planned two and a half days of food to get into Branchville, only about two. And then after that, um, <clears throat> up and out um, to New Jersey then for the next resupply in Vernon. So anyway, uh, as you come out of uh, Delaware Water Gap then, you, you come out and do a little bit of a road walk. Then you get to cross uh, a nice a nice bridge there. You, you saw that on my in my thumb where you have the, the border painted on the on the walkway there between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And uh, so you, you cross the bridge and then really once you're once you're across, you're going to start a relatively gentle climb. So a little bit of a road walk, pass a visitor center, and you start this climb. Now there's no there's no fires in New Jersey, okay? And so, and only, only camp in designated camping areas. Um, so as you, as you begin the, the, the climb up, now I went back and looked at my videos and I think there was an extra, maybe perhaps water sources in the AWOL guide, but um, I think this, this water existed, this one did not, or at least this one was dried up. Anyway, so you do have to have um, some water going into the backpacker campground because I think this was a, I think the sign that said it was a long descent down to get water, even though it shows that the water is right there at the campsite. Now this backpacker campsite is up on up on a ridge, and I got there a little bit earlier than I was expecting. I, I stayed at the, you know, down in Delaware Water Gap for the outfitter to open. It opened at ten o'clock, so I was getting a relatively later start. But I actually made a pretty good climb up here and got here a little bit earlier than what I would have liked. Um, very, very windy that day with a western looking view. And I actually did a, a, a backpacker tip, hiking tip video on how to set up a tent in the wind because uh, of the opportunity at that point in time. And then had, had a pretty good sunset. Um, here, let's see. Um, Oh my goodness, rocks. Yeah, you know what? We continued uh, with the rocks and I've got a, a picture of what some of those those look like in my insert here. Oh, and I did mention uh, a really beautiful view. Let me let me show you what that view looked like out to the west. And you can ma imagine this would be a great place for a uh, for a sunset photo if you if you ever get a chance for one. Um, New Jersey is full of ticks, and this is the first night that I actually I actually had a, a tick in my tent with me, and I had them on the outside of the tent trying to get in that night. Um, and uh, and I had neglected putting permethrin on my clothes at this point in time, and I was kind of kicking myself. Anyway, uh, that next day, as you hike up, you pass a sunfish pond and the the thirteen hundred mile mark. The this pond is a really pretty pond. Uh, it's very acidic, so there's only a couple of kind of fish that can live in it, and it's a, a glacial pond. It's supposed to be one of New Jersey's, you know, seven wonders, if you will. And uh, let's see, I think I have a, a good picture of the, of the pond here, as well as me at the 1300 mile mark. All right, originally my, my desire was to get to the Mohican, uh, Mohican Outdoor Center and get a, and get a, 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 I heard a Reuben sandwiches are really good there, get one of those for lunch. Um, didn't quite get there that fast. The trail traveling was a lot rockier than I had, uh, had assumed. I mean, it even tells you here, Rocky Summit. Uh, it was, it was kind of beating me up a little bit. So that by the time I, uh, there was a, a, an unmarked stream on here somewhere where I, I came, maybe this footbridge here, I ended up, yeah. Yeah, I ended up just getting some water and I had lunch there and I just skipped the Mohican Center because it was, you know, 0.3 down the down the trail on the back again. And honestly, I just didn't feel like it. 
Um, the, the views up here were pretty good, and I've got uh, I've got about four pictures coming up here. I'm going to show you in a little bit that are uh, uh, some of the views that we're that you're going to get along all these ridge lines here. I just kind of grouped them all together. That's uh, you're walking along ridge line, and uh, the the views out to the right side of the trail are just spectacular. The uh, <clears throat> um, the, there was a there was a cool tower if I remember up here. Yeah, the picnic table. I took a break there. The views are, are really pretty. One of, the, one of the pictures I'm going to show you may have actually come from there. Uh, this is one of those towers you don't get to climb, though. It's an active tower. It's got power to it. It's got, you know, it's all secured. Everything's locked up, so you can't actually climb up that one. Um, kind of came down here and got some water at this uh, rattles, uh, the just past Rattlesnake Spring here. Uh, talked to a bunch of uh, a youth or a bunch of youth group and talked about hiking the Appalachian Trail. Spent about a half an hour doing that. And then uh, kind of climb back up again into this. And, and, and when you get up here, this actually turned into a pretty nice hike because it was going to be a subdivision of very nice homes up here on this mountain. Uh, apparently, you know, the ATC came in and, and, and eminent domain and, 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 and got it. They had, they had put some roads in and they had put um, building sites in as far as uh, you know flattening the, the spots out and so the opportunity here when you came actually where they had the, the kind of the camp set up there it was it was great nice nice and flat no rocks um to be able to to uh to camp at um let's see um well, let me just let me just go ahead and throw in those um those photographs of what some of that uh, some of that uh, those those views look like Now, because you are dry camping here, you're gonna to need to get water. And as you come down here, there's there's an old spigot that doesn't work, but it tells you um, that um, well, there's a, a no camping zone, but you do have water a point one east. Um, this this was not point one east. If you go point one east looking for water, you're gonna not find it. It's about a point three, and it was down a kind of an old road that was an old asphalt road that was. Pretty much fallen apart, hadn't been used for years, had been closed off, and uh, it, so it, it was a little bit of a uh, a go to get down there to get that water. But after coming off of dry camping, it was pretty much a requirement. Um, <clears throat> and then once again, um, kind of uh, this long ridge line walk, if you will, and. Uh, This next day, um, I kind of came down by, I was going to go down here and, and uh, I got the water that I needed. There was water down there and uh, I didn't really go down to the shelter. There's a, a bunch of, of, I guess, weekend uh, day campers down there and making a lot of noise. I just didn't feel like that, dealing with that. So so um, I kind of stayed up at the trail intersection and I got my water and then uh, and continued on. And then kind of, and this was just just hot this day. And then a descent down into into Branchville. Now this is where I decided I was going to do my 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 resupply for this next section. Um, and you can see from this map here, uh, this is the scent coming down the Appalachian Trail. And it there is a there is a. Or, or, or this Ridge Motel down here, okay, which is also pretty close to, you know, this this uh, Dale's Market. So, I tried to call him, and I tried to call him, and I tried to call him, and nobody answered. So eventually, I call the Forest Motel up here, and they agreed they would come down and pick me up. So. They came down and, 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 and picked me up, and it was hot, 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 hot. And by this Gypsy's Tavern here, everybody said it was a great, it's a great place to stop and get something to eat. Um, I, and I probably should have done that. I should have gone up to Gypsy's Cavern, Tavern and then had something to eat and called and had her come down and pick me up. Uh, because once I was up here, I was kind of stuck, and I ended up just ordering some food from this, uh, this, 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 uh, this Metzaluna little Italian restaurant here instead. So... 
the next day, uh, she agreed to take me back down to the trailhead, and I asked for a favor. I said, we should drop you up at Dell's Market, and I'll figure a way to get back. So that's what she did. Uh, she came down here, dropped me off at uh, Dale's. Um, I went in, had breakfast, got my resupply, and then just kind of stood out front, um, you know, kind of eating my, my yogurt and my apple, and a, a guy came up, struck a conversation up with me. And, uh, and I just asked him, Hey, would you, if you're, are you heading North? Could you take me back up the trail? And he said, sure. And honestly, that, that's kind of almost the easier way to get rides than to try and hitchhike. So, so he took me back up and our conversation on the way up, I mentioned I hadn't seen any bears in New Jersey and I thought that was strange. And he said, it's not strange at all. And you probably won't. He said they had a, uh, a, a they killed 650 bears. Um, the, during the last uh, season because they had, you know, they was getting, there was too many of them and so they did a special hunt. And having hiked all of New Jersey, and everybody says if you haven't seen a bear on the ET, you will in New Jersey. I did not see a bear in New Jersey, so, so um, I guess their, their, their culling was, a, was an effective one. So. And once again, you, you, you start back up, and, and i got to be honest with you, the, the rocks definitely continue. There's still rocks, as a matter of fact. Let me show you uh, another picture of some rocks. Now, these aren't the rocks that hurt me, but this is the day, I believe, of, of the end for me on my hike that season. Uh, somewhere during this day, I did something to my ankle, okay? And uh, not, sure, not sure exactly what I did, other than I, I do have a faint memory of stepping in, heel going into a hole, stepping over a rock, and hyperextending my right leg. And that motion is what the motion that my podiatrist described of how you tear your Achilles tendon. So I'm thinking that's may have when it happened. All the time I was wondering if I maybe rolled my ankle and apparently I didn't. It was a I, I stepped down and my ankle went down into a into a hole pretty sharp and, and abruptly and that that may have have actually torn it and it happened sometime this day. And let me show you that uh, a picture of some of these rocks that are still part of New Jersey. Okay, so let's see, come up this, this next day, uh, I think I came by this Glenn Anderson and it was actually this, if I remember if it, this is the one, this is kind of a, kind of a pretty shelter um, there. And and continued up, got Sunrise Mountain here. Once again, there's no camping. Um, this day, oh, it was le less than an eight mile day. I was kind of feeling guilty about planning it so so short, but sometimes coming out of a, a resupply, you'd, you're not just exactly sure when you're gonna get back on the trail. So um, I had thought about trying to get down here to Rutherford, but I had run into some some southbounders who had said that the, the 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 bugs down here were just horrendous and that was point four off the trail so i thought you know what i'm just gonna the the, the at comes right into the shelter here um, i'll just stay here then i get there a little bit early now there's there's no water here but they have some at times left in a in a bear box and a guy by the name of jeep that's his trail name he brings uh, he brings water up and puts it in a puts it in the bear box and there was water there. Matter of fact, there was a Budweiser sitting there. I don't drink, but but uh, there were two 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 girls that were kind of resting and they were going to go ahead and head down to the shelter anyway. Um, they took off and it wasn't long before a guy by the name of Jim, who was a subscriber of mine, shows up. He had he had been there and had had brought some sodas and a beer and. And I left them, and the girls had, had had the sodas. They put the beer in the in the in the bear in the bear box, and then he had gone back down. And when they got down on their route there, he was down in the parking lot, and they said, "Hey, that the guy uh, big beer red uh, the, excuse me big bird that you're looking for is uh he just pulled into Marshall Pond. He's going to stay there. So he he bless his heart, he walked all the way back up uh, here from uh, the turnpike. He made this ascent all the way back up just to bring me up uh, a Mountain Dew and a Pepsi and a beer." And so, bless his heart, he didn't want to be on, a, on on YouTube, so I didn't get a shot of him, but I did give him a shout out and a, a big thank you. And I'm doing it now again too. Uh, really nice guy. Those kind of things mean, mean a lot when you're when you're when you're hurting. And matter of fact, that next morning when I got up, oh man, I I my, my foot was just frozen. That's when I I started noticing. Okay, wait a minute. So it's more than just the rocks beating up my ankle here. It actually I have must have done something to my right ankle. That's when I. I decided that there was enough of a difference 
that that I had probably done something to it and I hadn't really decided or could figure out what it was yet. Um, starting down here to uh, this, this state park, it's the High Point headquarters, and uh, got down here. Oh, there was a sign, by the way, up here that said, free sodas at High Point State Park for through hikers. So all excited, I got down here and uh, went into the visitor center and into the headquarters there and said, hey, I'm, I'm a through hiker. And they're like, oh, well, when did you start? And I said, one April. And they said, you, couldn't, you can't be all the way up here that fast. And I said, well, I started in the, just south of Harpers Ferry in the Shenandoahs. And they're like, oh, you're not a real through hiker then if you didn't start at Springer, so you can't have a soda. Ta-da. Yeah, just, that, you talk about taking the, 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 the wind out of your sails. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what about all the people who are, who are flip-flopping? Oh, that doesn't count. The guy that gives us the sodas is very specific. It's it's North Bounders from Springer. Get the free soda. So I'm like, oh, okay, be that way then. So I don't want your I don't want your soda. Uh, after all, Jim had already given a one me one soda. Heck with you. But I sat here for about an hour and a half, rehydrating. I drank about three liters of water, and uh, sat with a guy. I'm trying to, I can't remember his name now. He had, had a friend that had just had gotten off the trail and he was trying to figure out what to do. And he was, I was really being tempted to, to go with him down to a lodge that was down here. Uh, but decided I would just suck it up and keep going. And I would, I would get up the high point and, uh, you know, all through here, the, the, the rocks, the rocks continued and they, they really didn't abate. And, uh, but I, but uh, let me show you a picture of what, uh, high point looks like uh, they've got a monument up there on the on the hill now you don't the trail does not actually go to it it goes kind of by the base of it so but you can go up there if you want to okay even after spending an hour and a half at the at the, the headquarters here i still managed to get to the shelter relatively early in the afternoon which is okay because i was really really hurting at this point in time now um, uh, I ended up just putting up my tent and not putting my rain fly on so it wouldn't get too hot and, uh, went over and, and put my feet in the stream, um, to try and, uh, try and, uh, help out with any injury that I may have, have had thinking that I may have rolled it. So, you know, you do ice for the first 24 hours. And so that's what I did and uh, went back and, and pretty much laid down and went to sleep. And, and probably slept for a while. I noticed a guy came in who I, who I met the next day by the name of Nuts, N-U-T-Z. <clears throat> and uh, he, he was doing about a 400 mile section. He had already hiked the PCT with his wife, the CDT with his wife. She had already hiked the AT, and now he was doing the AT in sections. So um, anyway, so so uh, let, me, let me show you a picture of uh, me sitting with my feet in the stream here. And if you look real carefully, you can you can you can probably see that that right that right ankle is a little bit more swollen than the left, and I call this hydrotherapy. Okay, so um, I'm out of the high point shelter. He left a little bit ahead of me. Um, it actually kind of turned into wait a minute, where all the rocks go? So I can I can almost definitively say that the Pennsylvania style rocks and at the high point shelter in my opinion now you got other kind of rocks that are going to come up and you got these big boulder scrambles in new york but those those ankle twisting sharp teeth the buzz saw type you know triangular stuff that sticks up out of the ground like they've got in in pennsylvania kind of ended by the time you got the high point and so I, I noticed that the, that the going was a, a little bit easier because uh, I made enough time, a good time now, that I actually got down to this lot road after a little few ups and downs here, um, where then I went, I made a left turn and went into New York um, to, to Unionville where I got, uh, I think I had a, like a deli, I can't remember what I had. I had a guy with pizza and some salad and maybe some pizza or deli sandwich or something but anyway I went to a, p a pizza place there and um, you notice there's a couple of different uh, different places that you can get into Unionville there's one there here's one here here's one here and I'll show you a map uh, of that here of what that looks like 
So you're, you're first coming down the AT here. You're, you're right up against the border. And then you can, you can get off here at Corey Road and do a road walk in here to the, uh, to, to the Holler store and the Annabella's Pizza. That's your, that's your closest way to get in. Um, I, had, I guess I hadn't decided yet well, if I was going to go in until I got here to Lot Road. And that's, I kind of decided to go in and make the turn. This is not too big of a walk. Anyway, um, do you, can, there is um, camping allowed um, here at this at the at the basically the little city hall in the, this village office there they have a they have a, a a little bathroom there for you and they have a place where you can go in and camp so this is a, a an option for for many if you if you want to come in and and camp here in the night and then maybe do a little resupply so anyway lot road and then the next the next place I guess you you're gonna come down here and hit the state line road or this um, Howl Road, either of these you can then come back, or this one, which is a which is a, a major road, the major road to road walk in. But I think if you're really going to come into town, if you're northbound, come in here or here. If you're southbound, go ahead and wait until probably Lot Road and just come in, okay? Unless for some reason you want to go to the end of the lane grocery here. All right, so with that, um, the... Uh, the the, the 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 trail wasn't too bad and then you do do you do a road walk you do this road walk here you kind of come down then you're going to kind of turn down a, a a a dirt path this is a big bird sanctuary and so you can, and it's it's a it's a pretty good long walk around here and this this road walk and this flat walk really put took the toll on my on my ankle uh, it almost did better having a little bit of the uneven terrain kind of to massage it instead of that that hard flat road if you will and then we we headed off to um, a shelter called uh, uh, Pochuck if I remember right for the night which was which was here so see here's this long here's this long road walk and you're there's those there's those 90 degree turns you're going around the the, the, the wall hill I think it's called the Wall Kill Preserve, all right, and uh, and then you kind of start a, a little a little trip short trip up here to to this Pochuck shelter, and that night it was it was almost standing room only everywhere. There was a uh, a church boys group that were that were out backpacking, and a, just a lot of backpackers, and uh, we there I mean tents were overlapping guy lines trying to uh, to set up. Uh, in this area that night, it was uh, it was quite busy. Okay, and you have to note here. This is important. The spit you get you get water at a vacant house out of a spigot. Okay, at the foot of the mountains. This was a little bit of a. Is that the is that the house we're supposed to go to? You know, so you're walking up to this abandoned house, um, taking water out of the spigot. It kind of kind of felt strange, like we were stealing water. Or something, but anyway, you definitely want to get your water before you get there because there isn't going to be any for a while here until you get to the stream. This next day, once you once you once you hike out and start going all over everything. Um, let's see. Um, whoa! From there, that next day, once you leave, you're pretty much coming out of the mountains, and you're coming down. And you're almost to the point where um, you're going to do those, you know, those famous boardwalks that you see. Um, and uh, I need to find that sheet. Okay, found it. All right, so after you get done with Pochuck, okay, and you do have some, you do have some, some train to cross, which isn't too bad. There's a lot of really pretty fields you're going to be crossing and then you're going to kind of drop down and now you're getting into um, the the boardwalks um, somewhere along here I remember right there's a, a low-lying area where you're walking uh, through a kind of a swampy area on on boards that are kind of kind of close to the water on, and they're kind of built on top of an old set of those and then you get to the boardwalks that you've seen everybody's um, 
uh, videos of New Jersey. So, matter of fact, I even I even stopped by saying warning. This you know this video does not represent what <laughs> what New Jersey is like, for the most part. And uh, so anyway, um, I I'll end here with a with a shot of me and uh, nuts. Uh, on the boardwalk uh, as we as we hike over towards uh, this New Jersey 94 which is where you you can get a pickup to go into the Appalachian Motel in Vernon um, we we both went in there it was a planned stop for us um, nuts went back out the next day in the rainstorm I stayed a day and then another day and another day and I should have stayed probably a fifth day uh, for my ankle in the meantime, I did a resupply. Oh, this is, uh, I do need to mention, this is where um, a trail angel, uh, one of my subscribers, Chris, uh, he, he agreed to come and, uh, and take us out and get us a bite to eat and uh, with, with Nuts and I. And he went and rendezvoused with, um, um, down from the Wyawanda shelter, um, Red Mage. So we picked up Red Mage, and we all went out to we all went out to dinner. So it was kind of cool to 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 reunite with with Red Mage. He there were the Appalachian Motels only like eight rooms, so it was full. So he ended up going into into to Warwick to the show to the to the hotel there. So I had had a chance to to meet Red Mage, and I had a, I made arrangements to get my um, a box at the uh, at the post office that had my uh, trail runners in it that I was going to, and which is ironic. Um, had I continued on my boots, I may have continued to hike longer and done more damage. Going to the trail runners, um, it was pretty evident to me that something was wrong with my ankle because it wouldn't articulate. So in a way, going to the trail runners, even though I didn't get a chance to really do much hiking in them, helped me understand that I had something significantly wrong going on. So anyway, um, spent some time there at Vernon at the Appalachian Motel, really nice people. Uh, most of my food I got by, uh, by ordering in and having it delivered since there wasn't much around actually. Yeah, you, actually there is stuff you can walk to if you felt like walking, but I didn't feel like walking and we just, and we had a, a period of uh, quite a bit of rain showers during that period of time, so. All right, everybody, uh, here's, a, here's a picture of uh, me and Nuts. We only hiked together for uh, about a day and a half, but it was a very pleasurable experience and I, I appreciated getting to meet him, so. All right, see you later, everybody, bye.